There are many things that we use or do today, and we never really think about how it used to be. Some things you might be surprised on how it was done, while others might surprise you how long they've been around. In today's video, we'll have a look back at some of these items and just see how far we've really come. Television in the 1960s was groundbreaking, but there was one problem, which was reception. Homes never had any TV aerials installed, so that is where rabbit ear antennas came into play. If you have ever used one of these, then you know how much of a pain they are. Many people had to play around with the antennas to get them just right in order to get a signal. We're lucky that technology has advanced since then, and we no longer have to use these rabbit ear antennas. If you wanted to have toast in the 1920s, then it had to be manually flipped in order to have both sides toasted. This contraption is what was used, and it sort of looks like a gel for bread. At the time, it would have been classy, but it really was impractical and certainly isn't safe now. In the early 1900s, beard trimming wasn't anywhere near what it is now. These beard trimmers look extremely sharp, which probably made them extremely effective as well. However, they also look like they could really nick you or even take off part of your ear. I don't think anyone will be switching from the electric beard trimmers anytime soon. Fire grenades were the original fire extinguishers that were thrown into fires to help suppress the flames. They were popular between the 1870s and 1900s, but modern fire extinguishers have rendered them obsolete. At the time, it was a very different way to help stop the growth of a fire. Inside of the glass bottle was carbon tetrachloride to help combat small fires. Once the glass broke, the fluid inside would smother the flames. This is a recipe that dates back to 3000 BC and it is from ancient Mesopotamia. If you saw this recipe, you would probably have no clue how to do it, much less what it was for. This slab shows you how to make your very strong type of Sumerian beer. It is certainly easier to head to the convenience store now. Take a look at these slick sunglasses. They are some of the first sunglasses and were made 4,000 years ago. These sunglasses were meant to protect the eyes from UV light and snow blindness. They were created out of flattened walrus ivory with small slits to minimize the amount of light entering through. But don't look for these to come back in style anytime soon because they aren't the easiest to see through. Wishing trees were once the original wishing well. I'm sure most people have thrown a coin into a fountain at some point and made a wish. Trees such as this one were used in a similar way for wishes. Instead of throwing coins into the water, they would place them into the tree trunk. As time went on, the trees would grow over the coins, keeping them nice and safe. Let's just hope these people's wishes came true. Vending machines were an invention that changed the game of selling goods. The very first vending machines were created in England during the 1800s and they look nothing like what we see today. They were coin-operated machines that spit out fruit. Today, vending machines dispense all sorts of goods. Not only that, but they take debit and credit cards as well as other forms of payment. Leather shoes have come a long way since their introduction some 5,000 years ago. This is an example of one from that time period. It almost seems unbelievable that archaeologists were able to discover and dig up this preserved shoe from an Armenian cave. Back then, people were creating shoes to protect their feet just like today, but many used materials like bark and leaves. These shoes are certainly no Air Jordans of today, but they certainly were in their time. This retro shopping list made grocery shopping easier by using movable markers so the shopper could keep stock of everyday pantry items. This pocket-sized gadget made sure you wouldn't forget anything. Something like this could still be used today. Sure, there's probably an app, but would it have cake on it like this one? 
The first belt buckles were exclusively worn by the wealthy to express one's status. This isn't something that is still practiced today, but we do see remnants of this when we look at the rodeo and fighting worlds. Whoever was wearing this belt buckle was of great importance. I wonder what prominent king was wearing this beautiful piece. If you take a quick look at this device, I'm sure you can easily tell it is for food preparation. This six burner oven and stove combo also had a bread warmer. With all of that, it certainly sounds like it made cooking a breeze. Over the years, ovens have advanced, but you certainly can't get one like this anymore unless you buy it restored. If you look online, there's a few companies that do just that. This was something that was essential for large families and gatherings in the past. Long before Dungeons and Dragons became popular, ancient Romans were using this 20-sided die. This one is about 1800 years old and appears to have Greek symbols on each side. Were they nerding out over a game, gambling, or casting magic spells? We may never know the answer to that question, but it is fascinating to see an ancient game piece. The computer mouse has come a long way since it first came out in 1964. This is the first one and it got its name because of the cord in the back which looked like a mouse tail. It was invented by Douglas Engelbart and it was meant to be a wooden box with two rolling wheels attached to the bottom of it. His goal was to make an interactive device that would make computing easier. It certainly worked and the rest is history. Any idea what this is? A few of you may know, but this is an antique calculator. They used to look like typewriters rather than mathematical calculation devices. These calculators look nothing like the modern ones that we see today. Back then, they were actually known as comptometers, and they were the first key-driven mechanical calculators on the market. This toy was something that ancient Egyptian parents put in their children's graves so they would have something to play with in the afterlife. About 4,500 years ago, it was common to see parents placing this homemade ball with their deceased children. It was created out of linen rags, and something like that would be creepy to most modern parents. This is the rib cage shower and it is probably one of the more frightening ones that you will ever see. It was also referred to as the needle shower because it shot out jets around your torso. These showers were marketed towards men's athletic clubs and some even claimed to massage internal organs. After hearing that and seeing it, it sounds like some sort of torture device. After looking at all these items, you can certainly see how things have evolved over the years. There's no telling how things will be in 10 years, much less another 100 or 1,000 years. No matter what, the world will constantly change and things we use today will someday seem archaic. I hope you enjoyed this little walk through old historical items. Thanks for watching.